Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, it's been like a month or something since I've posted. Um, I posted like a little something last month. Um, or two months ago. Or something. Um, anyway. Uh, I don't really have any art for you this time around, but um, I thought I would do a little video because I have been taking video. I might as well do something with it. Um, thought I would update you on the biggest life thing, um, or one of them, since the last time I posted anything. Um, we had a really horrible storm um, that, honestly, we knew about um, and handled badly. Uh, not me specifically, but um, the state of Texas, and uh, that's a real big story. I get into it a little bit here, but um, anyway, thought I'd introduce you uh, before I start here. Um, this was a three-day power outage um, in the coldest days in 30 years in Texas. Um, it was an adventure for everybody, uh, to say the least. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's two inches almost. Wow. It's, um, almost midnight, I think. 11.30. 11.30, almost midnight. And this is the beginning of Snowmageddon in Austin on a Valentine's Day of 2021. Woo. Oh man, that feels weird. Powder. That's like a different type of snow than I've ever felt before. Oh, holy cold. This is what I look like when I've had no sleep and it's 52 degrees in the apartment. Uh, we woke up to this. After our power went off around 2 a.m., it never came back on. We have a shelf by the door. Oh my god. This is... Wow. Moose, what do you think? <sighs> wow. Goose. It was so Hi. <laughs> Here's my car. Somewhere under there. This is the part of February 15th where we decided to go down to a car and sit in it and try to warm up. Um, I fell asleep to watching these clouds float over. 
I was really excited about a bunch of snow, but now I'm really not anymore. This is crappy. Um, Zeus has had it. He's so done. Zeus, are you done with it? Yeah, very done. Oh! <laughs> that was static electricity. Poor baby. Oh no, there comes a thing. Oh, we're sitting here in Sprout's parking lot. Let me get some food. Oh, man. This is so crazy. I'm, uh, I'm originally from Florida, and, uh, now I live in Texas. This isn't weather I'm used to at all. Rory has uh, lived in various climates, so uh, he's a little more confident driving out places. Um, and it must be really, really busy in that grocery store because we've been sitting here for like half an hour. The apartment, the last time we tracked was at 50, 50 degrees. Um, and that was a little bit ago, so it's easily in the 40s in the apartment right now. Um, luckily, oh my goodness, Linda is letting us come over. She's got a spare bedroom, um, that she fixed up for us. So, uh, once we head out of here, we're gonna go home, um, pack some bags. Zeus, what do you think? Are you, are you over it? Yeah. And off to grandmother's house we go, or went rather, um, for the next two nights. We had hot food and hot showers, comfort, uh, things that so many others in the entire state of Texas did not have. So we were very lucky to uh, have Rory's mom right down the street from us. Um, so Texas many years ago decided that they would have, you know, be themselves and have their own power grid uh so that when things like this happen and the power grid can't keep up with everybody running their heaters at full blast when it's 8 degrees outside um we can't rely on other power grids around us in other states to help out with the load. Um, so I think it was something like, it was around 50% of the Austin population. I'm not sure about other states, but, or, um, cities, but half the city of Austin, uh, did not have power. And the whole plan, uh, starting around 2 a.m. we started getting text messages was that they would have rolling, um, power outages in order to keep people warm and still try to minimize the load. Uh, but that just didn't turn out to be the case. So that they don't overload the system. Still a lot of unanswered questions right now, like why ERCOT or Austin Energy and other power outage providers, I should say power providers, were not prepared for this. Austin Energy is not providing interviews or answering questions right now. Reporting from South uh. Austin, I'm Aaron Austin. Fox Austin News. It is Wednesday morning, and we've got a little bit of an ice storm happening. And by storm, I mean trickle, but it's, let's call it a storm, just because everything else is crazy right now. Look at all the ice in this tree. And there's that tree over there that looks like it's not going to make it. Can't zoom in any further, but... Yeah, and that's all snow on top of ice. Hello. Yeah, that's snow on top of ice 
with snow or with ice wait yeah with ice on top of it and we're supposed to get more snow tonight and then you know probably some ice on top of that for good measure so yeah fun times in Texas these two dogs this one's a little less excited than this one here <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah, so uh, that was that was our week a few weeks ago. Um, we came back on I think it was a Thursday. Mm something. I don't even remember. But we stayed two nights at my mother-in-law's um, and then came back the third day. And um, we're devastated to find that our poor little hermit crabs didn't make it. Um, we had five of them, two of which had been with us for five years or so. Um, they were our biggest babies and they passed away. Um, it was just too cold and most of them were up so they didn't burrow. Um, they just stayed up there and froze to death. It's, it's like the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but I mean I guess we've learned uh, when it gets really cold We've got to take them with us. We've got to, I don't know. I, there's no point beating myself up about it, but I really wish that I'd known. Just yesterday, actually, we went out to Port Aransas to uh, give them a proper burial by the ocean. Um, we'd actually already planned on going out there before I realized that uh, today is the anniversary of my bringing our first crab home. Her name was Aransas, appropriately. Uh, and I got her in a little tourist shop on uh, the same shoreline that she was laid to rest yesterday, along with her little crab family. Um, it was sad, but... It... It seemed like the right thing to do. That weekend we actually went out to uh, the pet store and got a couple others. Just couldn't help myself. And after a couple of days of crying about it, um, it felt better to give some littles a new home. So uh, this is a little video of their first night here. Um, they got some yummy food and went exploring together and uh, yeah I think they're doing pretty well. Um, we're starting over I guess. Whole new whole new little crab family. But yeah that's uh, that's our story for the great, lovely winter storm of 2021. Um, hopefully we never have to go through that again. Hopefully Texas gets its act together and uh, can prevent this kind of thing from happening because you never know. You never know when this kind of thing is going to happen. I mean, I guess you do if you're a weather person and, like, know how to determine that kind of thing, but I don't, and... Um, Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I have some things planned for the future of this channel. Um, and I look forward to exploring those things. And I hope you enjoy watching them. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a lovely week.